NFL Week 9 Anytime Touchdown Props. I'll give you my three favorite plays. We'll wrap them all up into a plus 622 pay dirt parlay. And we also have a plus 350 long shot play for you this week. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoy this content, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Post your favorite Week 9 touchdown scorers in the comment section. If you don't know what to comment, just type TD. I'll be checking the comments and responding back. So we can't complain. Last week was a good week. We went 2-1 with our straight plays. We cashed our long shot. Hunt and Dobbins get the job done. Unfortunately, A.J. Brown let us down. But we did cash on Njoku on the long shot at plus 310. Guys, when I mention, when I say my favorite plays, I mean my favorite plays that are kind of like better than 150. I try to stay away from like those negative 200s. We're even seeing like negative 300s this week. Uh, guys this week like Derrick Henry or Saquon Barkley. I mean, they're fine if you guys want to use them in your parlays. I, I kind of just try to stick to straight bets outside of the pay dirt parlay, which is just kind of more for fun to wrap up the three top selections. I just wanted to let you guys know. Let's just get right into it, though. Number one on the list. He let us down a few weeks ago. But we're going back to C.D. Lamb at minus 105 at FanDuel. This guy puts up video game-like numbers in his post-buy week games. If you look at his last three games after the bye last year, 500 total yards and three touchdowns. The season before, 301 yards and two touchdowns. That continued last week. He had 146 yards and two touchdowns against a pretty good 49ers defense. Atlanta struggles to contain the opposition's top option, and they've, they're have they tied for the fifth most wide receiver touchdowns allowed with nine. And um, Atlanta's been scoring at will as well. The Dallas defense has been just getting demolished, essentially. So I think this really turns into a shootout type of game where Prescott is going to have to throw throughout. That means Lamb can continue this hot stretch after, you know, post by game. So we're going to go C.D. Lamb, number one on the list at minus 105. Number two, let's go with a guy we haven't taken before, DeAndre Swift at plus 100 at DK. He scored in four straight games now. Very high usage, uh, 21-plus touches in three of the last four games. He failed to hit that last week because he wasn't really involved in the passing game like he normally was. I expect that to return this week. But he still had 18 carries for 129 yards and a touchdown. Arizona, we've picked on him before. Uh, they allow 4.6 yards per carry. They allow the six most yards and six most touchdowns with nine to opposing running backs. Uh, last week, the Miami running back scored three times. And um, I think the Chicago defense also puts them in positions where they have good field position and keeps it to a spot where Arizona, they're not going to be looking to throw a ton. It sticks to a running game script because the Bears defense keeps the game close, uh, keeps a lid on the Cardinals offense. So number two on the list, DeAndre Swift. Number three, we're going to go to David Montgomery. The reason I've stayed away from him is, like I mentioned at the top of the video, he's normally sitting there. At minus 175, minus 180. And this week we get a little bit of a break, minus 130 at DK. Uh, no, su no surprise here. He's scored in six of seven games on the season. I'm surprised by this price. Uh, he scored in his last three games, both games last year, against Green Bay. And we've seen it elite backs uh, score on this Packers defense. Mixon, Barkley, Kyron Williams all scored. If they get anywhere close to the end zone, we know it's going to Monty at this price. I can't leave him off the card. So it's going to be Montgomery, DeAndre Swift, and C.D. Lamb will be the top three choices. Wrap them all up for plus 622. Uh, guys, before I give you the long shot, I want to let you know at sportsmemo.com, we have 30-day NFL passes for $129. It's only $4 per day, just about that. And then we have 30-day all-access passes, $239, around $8 per day. 
Um, number one across all sports right now over the last seven and last 30 days. We're on a nice hot NBA, an NBA run number one in the NBA so far in 2024. NHL, we've kept pretty low volume, um, just picking my spots, really. We didn't pick anything for about the first nine or ten days of the season. But we've started 3-0. and We've cashed uh, four of our last college football plays. So those are the sports. If you've got an all-sports pass, those are the sports I'm involved in is uh, college and NFL, NHL, NBA right now. Obviously, baseball just ended, unfortunately, because I love baseball. But, um, yeah, so anyway, there's always a link to my uh, plays in the pin comment i'd encourage you guys to go check that out because we're running pretty hot right now like i said number one over the last 30 days in nba uh we've been stellar so far so you guys want that long shot plus 350 uh caleb williams he hasn't scored yet this season but we're gonna get it done this week so you can take advantage of this price on fanduel over at dk it's only plus 245 but at fanduel it is plus 350 like I said, no touchdowns, but he's averaging uh, five carries and about 30 and 30.8 yards on the ground per game. We've already talked about the Arizona uh, poor run defense and then the dynamic between the Bears being having a solid defense, making this of more of a running game, keeping them in good field position. And Arizona has allowed three quarterback rushing touchdowns. Josh Allen scored against them twice. Way back in week one, Jaden Daniels scored against them as well. It's a matter of time before Caleb Williams gets his first NFL touchdown. And I predict it's going to be this week at plus 350. So those are our plays for this week. Lamb, Montgomery, and Swift are our officials. And then we have the long shot uh, with Caleb Williams. Guys, I always have free plays posted at Sports Memo as well as at X at Steve's Book 22. I'd appreciate it if all you guys could go follow me over there. And if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button on the way out. And please leave a comment if you would as well. Good luck this week, and hopefully I, I can bust out that broom again like we did a, like about a month ago uh, and get back on track. Well, not back on track. We had a good week last week, but back on track with the sweep. Good luck, guys.